Uh, this is a Ansonia clock movement. If you look closely down the bottom here, you'll see that it says A. Saunders. I assume that's the uh, supplier in Sydney. Dates back to about 1910. When I pulled this apart, I found a servicing card saying 1917. So I'm assuming it's probably around about 1910 sort of vintage. And Sony was made in New York and uh, they make many, many clocks here. And this one here has the uh, visible escapement from the front of the clock here. And if you look around the back through the side here, you'll see it has what we call lantern pinions where the, the pinions themselves here uh, look like a little lantern there. That's little drive little pinions. These wheels themselves here, they're all looking okay. This clock came all gummed up and just wasn't working correctly because of it was all gummed up. Apart from that, the movement is absolutely perfect. I go from the top of the clock here, I can lift up the, the stripe section over here. If I lift this little lever up here, that little lever there, lift this up, you'll see that the chime mechanism starts up and of course that will do, that did a strike for the half hour. This clock here has also a little shaft through here and you can actually change the the time of the clock by adjusting the length of the pendulum through this mechanism here. The clock is in really good condition, the case was good, it's a cast iron case and all the little bearings and things like that here have all been rebushed um, probably fairly recently I would have thought but uh, of course it wasn't running when I got it. It's just a very very nice little movement there and Sony have made beautiful movement clock movements here and that's just running on the bench here ready to go back together again.